welcome to Books with Brandywine. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about one of the picture books in my son's collection, which is What the Ladybug Heard by Julia Donaldson and illustrated by Lydia Monks. I've actually had this book for a while, but didn't read it until yesterday, and I don't know why, because this book is so much fun, and we've already read it like eight times just since we pulled it off the shelf. I got this book for free from the Toy Lending Library that we have here in town. It's run by the local community college, and as it sounds, they have a bunch of toys that you can lease or rent out or check out. You can check out from the library for a month, and then you return the items. They also have, for a while, they had zoo passes and aquarium passes as well, but I don't think they have those anymore. And every once in a while, they pass out free books, and this was one of the books that they passed out. It came with a little, well, huge, ladybug hand glove puppet, and I wanted to show it to you guys, but I can't find it anywhere. But, like, the part that goes over your hand is, like, a black glove, so it's the legs and kind of invisible, and it has this huge ladybug on top, and it's a hand puppet. And the reason they gave out a ladybug with it is because it's all about this little ladybug right here. So all of the other animals on this farm are constantly making noise. They're constantly vocal, as you can see on this page, which also makes for great fun reading this to my son. I got to make all of the really fun uh, library sounds, all the really fun zoo, uh, zoo sounds. Man, I cannot say words. Got to make all the really fun farm animal sounds. But the little ladybug there, she never says a word until... Uh, these two guys back here, Hefty Hugh and Lanky Lynn, decide that they are going to try to steal the prized cow from the farm. And, of course, the ladybug overhears them and comes up with a brilliant plan to try and stop them. And it is so much fun. It's really, really quick. It, I mean, it's a picture book, but it's still really, really quick. I had so much fun. I think I read this to my son like eight times in a row. I was making all kinds of crazy noises for the animals, and at one point I even sang it to him because the all of the well, lines are rhymed, but they're like really easy rhymes to read, and so they're also really easy to sing. And so my son really, really enjoyed this book. He kept flipping back and forth to have me start reading it again. Every time I finished, he'd open the book again so I could read it again. So I loved the writing by Julia Donaldson. I also loved the illustrations by Lydia Monk. I do base a lot of my picture books on their aesthetic and their like their artwork. It's really, really important to me that I find a picture book that is really pretty to me to read. And this book definitely falls into that category. Uh, one, oh, take this off so you can see it better. Uh, the whole farm is incredibly colorful. And one of the design decisions that I particularly love, uh, how clearly you can see it, is, you see, like, this is the shape of a tree, but the actual, like, leaves, it's, it's an actual picture of a tree. And it's the same thing for, like, these leaves back here. Like, it's the shape of a leaf, but those are actual pictures of leaves. And then... See, you can really see it on this bush here. You can see that it's a photograph of leaves. And then, like, for the sheep, like, that's a picture of, like, actual sheep wool that they used for the picture. And then, of course, the rest of the pictures are, like, actual, like, illustrations and drawings. But I just, I loved that. It reminded me a lot of a, um... I forget what they call it when it's like the multi-textural medium thing artwork. It really, really reminded me of that. So I found it incredibly beautiful. And I love that even with the paper off, like the picture is still the same. So even if you lose the flap, like you'll still have the, um, the actual like picture and cover. Because I do have some books where the flap has been lost and then you can't tell what the book is because there's no like, the picture's not on the cover. So I really, really enjoyed this book. I would recommend this to anyone that wants to make fun farm animal sounds and find out how they rescued the prized cow with their plan, which is really, really hilarious. <laughs> it actually made me laugh when I was reading it the first time. 
I will give you a hint, it involves a lot of animal sounds. And so this book, I just, I had so much fun reading this book. I would definitely suggest you guys go check it out. I think your kids will love getting to read it with you, and I think they will really enjoy getting to make all the farm animal sounds as well. I will see you guys next time with, next month with another children's book from my son's collection. See you later. Bye. <music>